In today's video, we can find out how many kilowatt hour this 2001 wind turbine can harness after a year, the total cost compared to a solar system and I hope the information in this video can help you to decide if a small wind turbine like this is a good investment or not for you. Welcome back to my channel Upgrade with Laszlo and Renewable Energy. First, I have to tell you that I do not sponsor anyone because it is important to me to provide information based on my personal experience and able to give you my honest opinion on any of the equipment I use or investment I make. Since many of you ask where I purchase these items, they are listed in the description box. 8 months after I commissioned this wind turbine, I had to stop it for a month and a half due to mechanical issues. After having a 45 miles per hour wind for a day, one of the magnets became loose and a 30 miles per hour wind was not enough to start it up again. I contacted Misery Wind and Solar, they asked me to ship the motor back to them and they will fix it under warranty. I just have to pay for shipping for both directions. If I would purchase this wind turbine from overseas, probably I would not able to obtain the warranty. So I recommend to anyone to purchase equipment from companies that are behind their products and if anything happens like this, we don't have to worry about losing our investment. I also recommend to watch this type of videos and do it yourself whenever it's possible because if I had to hire someone to install this wind turbine for me, I would have additional expenses to remove and install the wind turbine again. Until the wind turbine was in service, I secured the cross members with zip ties on the tower because during windy days they made a lot of noise. I recorded this video during in 40 miles per hour wind after I got my wind turbine back from service. As we can see, no more noise coming from the tower. I also purchased this LED lights from Amazon, installed it, so it makes a little mood light in the dark and I hope it helps the birds to avoid the moving parts as well. I received the package, the motor was very well packed between two pre-made styrofoam. I asked Misery Wind and Solar why an 8 months old wind turbine has a problem like this. They told me they test every wind turbine for mechanical issues before sale, however they can test it at 45-50 miles per hour wind, but that's why the warranty, if anything happens, they fix it for free. They told me after they secured the loose magnet, they also replaced both bearings and I should not have any more issues. As soon as I received my motor, the next day I started assembling the unit. I suggest to do this type of work when it is not that windy. Since I tried to keep the tower as high as possible, I did the repair for my tractor's bucket. I'm not suggesting you to do anything like this, make sure you work safe, avoid injury. However, I think working 10 feet high in a bucket is much more safe than having a launch in a structural support at 300 feet high. I made some modification about the tower lifting as well because this electric hoist I used last time was moving too fast. I purchased this Champion 3000 pound 1.3 horsepower winch that under full load the line speed is 4.3 feet per minute. This is the perfect tool to get the job done alone without a problem. This wind turbine starts harvesting at 7 mph wind, but the state of charge for the battery bank matters. 
If the battery's state of charge at 54.3 volts, like in this case, the wind turbine harvesting 294 watt per hour. But if the state of charge is 55.7 volt, we are harvesting only 33 watt per hour at 57.8 volt. One month after I commissioned the wind turbine, I harvested 14.1 kilowatt hour and after a full year, this was 232.1 kilowatt hour. In this short video, we can see how this wind turbine able to harness from 194 watt to 1383 watt. If I had this 40 miles per hour wind on a daily basis, this wind turbine would able to generate many kilowatt hours for the house. I published this review in Hungarian a few weeks ago and with that said, the price for this wind turbine was $1369.99 and the pre-wired charge controller was $2249.49. The total cost is $3619.48. Around my area, the electric company charges close to 10 cents for a kilowatt hour. So if we multiply this 232.1 kilowatt hour with this number, we can see I would pay approximately $22.84. If we take a look on our investment is over $3,000 and we would pay less than $25 for this 232.1 kilowatt hour that the wind turbine harvested for us within a year, it doesn't look that friendly. But there is not one electric company out there who would let us just pay for the energy we use. As we can see on the bottom of this page, they have monthly service availability charge $32.50 and depends on this location. I used to pay $65 in New York. Now let's multiply this number by 12, that's $390 and add the $22.84 and we get $412.84. This is how much we would pay for the electric company for one year. Now we just have to do one more thing, divide the purchase price with this number and we can see this 2000 watt wind turbine investment would take about 9 years to return. These wind turbines are able to work approximately 25 years with some maintenance. Hopefully during this period no major issues come up. So if we would like to find out how much profit we can make after our investment, just multiply the $412.84 by 25 and that is $10,321. Now let's subtract the purchase price from this number and if this 232.1 kilowatt hour is enough for us for a year after 25 years with no major repairs we make approximately $6,701.52 profit. Now let's see how it's gonna look like if we compare this wind turbine to a solar system. We can do it two different ways, one of them based on the purchase price that means we purchased a solar system approximately for the same price we paid for the wind turbine. 
I think this would be the best way to compare because the funds we invested into each system tell us the kilowatt hour difference and the time we need for our investment to return. The other way we can compare based on power when we buy a 2000 watt rated solar system. So I found this EG4 6000 XP upgrade inverter that cost $1549. Max PV input is 10,000 watt, max charging current 125 amp, ferrol up to 16 units, and there are two MPPTs 4000 watt each. This unit already has solar panel disconnect and breakers that needs to be purchased and installed for additional cost at other units. It is also generator ready, includes a dedicated generator connection for reliable backup power. I also found these 380 watt solar panels that cost 26 cents per watt. It comes out about $99 a panel. If we multiply 8000 by 0.26, that's 2080. As we can see, the two systems are really close to each other in price. Now let's divide 8000 by 380. This is the panel rated output and we get 21. That means we're going to have 21 panel in the system. If anyone doesn't understand how I calculate these numbers, please check out my other video upgrade system in 7 steps. We also know, even though we connect 8000 watt solar panels to the system due to inefficiency, after a few years we are only able to utilize 6500 watts. Usually we count with 5 sun hours, but at this case let's just count with 3.5 in the worst scenario if someone lives north and it's winter. So if we multiply 6400 by 3.5, that's 22400 watt hour, what is actually 22.4 kWh. That means this solar system can harness 22.4 kWh a day for us. If we divide this 232.1 kWh with this number, we can see this system can harness about the same kWh less than 11 days. Since we know that this system is able to harness 22.4 kWh a day, let's multiply this number by 365 and that is 8176 kWh per year. After plugging these numbers in, we can see that for this 8176 kWh, we would pay approximately $804.51. If we add the yearly service charge to this, we would pay $1194.51. And if we divide this number with the purchase price, clearly shows that it would take about 3 years for our investment to return. If we want to make it more interesting, let's pretend we have a small cabin and we don't use this 8176 kWh a year. Let's purchase only 2000 watt solar panels and a smaller inverter. This EG43 kWh inverter now is on sale for $699.99 and the 2000 watt solar panels would cost $520. The total for the system would be $1219.99. This solar system also rated for 2000 watt like the wind turbine, but the purchase price is significantly cheaper. No wonder more and more people start a new life living off grid. On those areas where power is not available within a few feet. The electric companies are charging thousands of thousands of dollars just to connect to the service. From the friction of the price, a small system like this can be built and no monthly fees to worry about. Obviously, we have other expenses like how we mount the system or store the energy. The cost for that all different. I personally have a very cheap mounting system for the solar panels and a very expensive one for a wind turbine. Maybe some of you can come up with a super cheap mounting system for both. 
The purpose of this review is to give you an idea from real experience what can you expect from a wind turbine like this that hopefully helps you to make the best decision about your investment. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and the items can be found in the description. I want to say thank you for everyone who is supporting the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done it so. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.